Mercedes has revealed the key changes behind Lewis Hamilton's impressive turnaround for the 2024 Formula One season. After a difficult start with the revamped W15 car, which showed inconsistencies and unpredictability, the team has found its footing, leading to significant improvements in performance. One notable change was Mercedes's decision to remove the updated floor from the car during the Belgian Grand Prix weekend and revert to a previous specification floor. This strategic move was made after experiencing problems with the updated floor, particularly in the high-speed corners at Spa. Andrew Shovlin, Mercedes trackside engineering director, has confirmed that the team plans to reintroduce the new floor at Zandvoort. We are planning to do that now, Shovlin stated. He elaborated, we reverted to the Silverstone spec on Friday night because Silverstone and Spa have similar corner speed ranges and we had a good race at Silverstone. Shovlin pointed out that the issues at Spa were more about the car's handling rather than than the updates themselves. Returning to the Silverstone setup resolved balance and bounce problems, allowing the team to collect data and pinpoint the root cause. With newfound confidence, Mercedes plans to bring back the updated floor at Zandvoort, hoping to maintain their improved performance. Mercedes faced significant challenges at the start of the season with the new W15 car, which proved to be a handful for both drivers during numerous sessions. The car's unpredictable nature was especially troubling for Hamilton, who found it tough to achieve the same level of consistency as his teammate, George Russell, in single lap conditions. In the initial races, Russell frequently outperformed the seven-time world champion, raising alarms within the team. Recently, the momentum shifted dramatically, with Hamilton securing victories at both Silverstone and Spa, a stark contrast to his earlier form this season. Shovlin credited this turnaround to the team's newfound ability to start each race weekend with a stronger baseline setup. Speaking to the media, including Motorsport Week in Belgium, Shovlin highlighted that a critical improvement has been the team's success in nailing the setup during the first practice session. Earlier in the year, we would make relatively small changes and suddenly the whole balance of the car would go and we would really struggle, said Shovlin. Improving the car's setup from the outset has been instrumental in Hamilton's recent success. Shovlin admitted that earlier in the season, Hamilton found the car harder to set up than Russell, but recent improvements have benefited both drivers. This robust starting point enabled the team to refine and enhance the car's performance throughout the weekend, a significant improvement from earlier races where even slight adjustments could throw off the car's entire balance. A cornerstone of Mercedes's strategy has been the close collaboration between Hamilton and Russell. Both drivers embraced experimenting with various car setups in the early rounds, striving to unlock the W15's potential. Shovlin praised their teamwork and flexibility, attributing the team's overall progress to these factors. Throughout the season, Hamilton and Russell have collaborated closely, recognising the importance of experimenting with setups and driving styles to enhance their overall performance. Shovlin noted that both drivers were dissatisfied with their early season results, which motivated them to support one another in exploring various strategies. Neither of them wanted to finish where we were, Shovlin remarked. Their openness to trying different setups and sharing insights has propelled the team forward this collaborative effort showcases how two skilled drivers can work together to achieve collective success, underscoring the power of teamwork in Formula One. As the season advances, Mercedes aims to capitalise on this newfound momentum. Enhancements to the W15's basic setup, combined with the drivers' collaborative efforts, have set the team up for stronger performances in the upcoming races. Mercedes' skill in refining the car setup process, along with the drivers' teamwork, has been pivotal to Hamilton's revival this season. By continuing to focus on these key areas, the team hopes to maintain its competitive edge and secure more victories in the 2024 Formula One Championship. There is a certain style of driving that suits these tyres, Shovlin explained. He emphasised that the drivers are now aligning more closely in their setup preferences, simplifying the process of finding a configuration that works well for both. By analysing each other's approaches between sessions, they've been able to pinpoint crucial performance gains. On the other hand, Ferrari is on a relentless mission to reclaim its throne at the pinnacle of Formula One. Scuderia team principal Frederic Vasseur is determined to leave no stone unturned in this pursuit. In a bold move, he has already secured the services of seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton from Mercedes. Yet, Vasseur's quest to assemble the best squad in F1 is far from over. With Enrico Cardil set to depart in 2025, Ferrari has yet to decide on a new technical director 
Jupiter. Initially, Vassar eyed Red Bull's aerodynamic maestro, Adrian Newey, as Cardile's successor. However, the logistics of relocating to Maranello, Italy, from his UK home may not appeal to Newey. Unlike Hamilton, Newey's next destination is yet unknown, with links to the likes of Ferrari, Aston Martin and McLaren. At one point, some even suggested that Newey had signed an eye-watering $105 million deal with the Italian team. However, former F1 driver and Grand Prix winner Johnny Herbert has presented an intriguing theory, suggesting Hamilton has made the right call and that he must have spoken to Ferrari about potentially snapping up Newey alongside himself before joining the team, insisting that there has got to be something going on. This leaves Cardiel's position vacant for now, but Vasseur is already targeting key figures from Mercedes to bolster Ferrari's technical team. His efforts have paid off with the acquisition of Loic Serra, a current engineer with the Silver Arrows, who will lead Ferrari's chassis performance engineering team starting in October. Losing Lewis Hamilton might cost Mercedes dearly, but losing him, in addition to some reliable engineers, will be disastrous. That might be the case now for Toto Wolff's army. This sets the stage for a reunion between Hamilton and Serra in 2025, when Hamilton debuts for Ferrari. However, additional top-tier engineers are needed to ensure smooth operations at the Scuderia. To this end, Diego Tondi, a longtime Ferrari recruit, has been promoted to head of aerodynamics. While an official announcement is pending, Tondi has updated his LinkedIn profile to reflect his new role. Well, even though Lewis Hamilton has claimed to have no part in Mike Elliott quitting Mercedes, he didn't deny the possibility of the British engineer going to Ferrari now. First Hamilton, then Loic Serra, and now possibly Elliott, Ferrari keeps scoring the best and the bravest from Mercedes. No guts, no glory, no legend, no story, a phrase that Ferrari is reviving in modern F1. Shaking their driver lineup for 2025, the Frederick Vasseur led team has taken a somewhat calculated risk, but the future remains unpredictable. In Lewis Hamilton, they get F1's best driver ever, but the seven time champion has never worked for a non British team. As he described it, going from working with calm and composed Englishmen to emotional Italians, a daunting cultural change awaits him. However, according to Frederick Vasseur, such differences create a hub for brilliance. Ferrari is F1's oldest team and also the most successful, but unlike other teams who answer to a parent company or billionaire owner, they have to answer to Italy in its entirety. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner made this difference very clear last year. Calling Ferrari a national team, he said, you know, it's an Italian institute and there's too many probably people at the top end that everybody has an input and has a say from the outside looking in. Hamilton's resurgence has injected fresh energy into the season, with Mercedes' strategic adjustments paying off handsomely. The team's ability to adapt and fine-tune their approach, reminiscent of an F1 pit crew's precision, has been instrumental in turning their fortunes around. As the season progresses, all eyes will be on whether Mercedes can maintain this newfound momentum and keep Hamilton in the hunt for the championship title. Are we witnessing the rise of a new Hamilton in the making? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay tuned and goodbye for now.